Hello, another quick word tip in this video. Um, I've got a document here with a number of students on the left hand side and I need to make appointments for them to go through some of their coursework. And so I need to know which day each student is going to be coming along at lunchtime to have their meeting. On the right hand side, rather than having to write the day, I can simply click and select the day from a calendar. So they might say, yes, I can make next Thursday lunchtime. So I can look at the date and say, right, well, that would be the 19th. Click on that. And there's the date. They can just say, next student, Bryony can do next Tuesday. So I can simply go to my calendar and click on that day, 17th of May. I can change the format of this date to include the day if I wish to as well. And I'm going to show you how to insert this date picker into Microsoft Word in just a second. So in this uh, situation here, we can select any one of these uh, click or tap to enter a date, select the date, click it, and we will then see the date written out in whatever format we want. So let's see how we can do that. I'm going to delete all of these first of all. So we've just got a basic uh, table set up. Now what you will need is the developer tab, which is at the top here. And if you haven't used this before, it's probable that you won't see that listed. It's an optional tab in Microsoft Word. So how do you get the developer tab, first of all? Well, the answer is very straightforward. Just on any ribbon that you like, any of these tabs at all, find a blank gray area. This is fine just here. Right click on it and choose Customize the Ribbon. On the right hand side, you will have all of the tabs that are available and could be displayed. And if you don't have the developer tab visible, then that will have a blank checkbox next to it. So simply put a tick in the developer tab there, click OK, and you will see it appear at the top. Many of the videos that I've done over the years include the developer tab in one way or another. There's a whole heap of really useful stuff in it, uh, which I'll show you how to use. So I suggest you have a little wander through some of those videos so that you can see some of the ways in which the developer tab is used. But for the moment, we're just simply going to stick a date picker into this tab here, into this cell here. So on the developer toolbar, we find in the controls section just here, this is the date picker. It looks like a little drop down list and it's the one with a little red square in it, if you can just spot that. So simply click on it once and that brings up the date picker automatically in this cell or in whatever part of the document you want. So if I simply click on that, I can choose the date and there it is displayed. But how do you change the format of that date? Well, that's straightforward. If we simply click once on this date picker and then in the developer toolbar, we click on properties just here. Click on Properties and it brings up this list here. Loads of things that we can change. Obviously you've got things like color and bounding box, but for the moment all I'm worried about is just the format of the date. And we can see down here that there's a list of different formats. So I can choose the one which is closest to what I want, which perhaps is this one here, Wednesday, May 11th, 2016. But I may not require the year. Um, so in this little optional text box at the top, I can delete the YYYY and that comma. So I'm now just going to have um, the long day, that's the lowercase d. If we just put in um, a couple of d's there, we'll have a, a shorter version of the day, but I have the full day written out. So Wednesday rather than just wed, comma. And then we've got capital M's for the month. Again, if we wanted to, we could just have two capital M's. Um, and have the month written as a number. And then um, D in lowercase there. Um, so if I click OK, and then I drop down and I select next Monday, the 16th, uh, you'll see that we have the day written out in long, we have the month written out in long, and then the last D, uh, obviously for date, at the end there. So Monday, May 16. And you can change that format and play around with that as much as you like. Once you've done one of those date pickers and you've got the format right, you can simply click on it once and copy it. 
and then paste it into any of the other cells or parts of your document that you want and they'll all work exactly the same. Um, and that's a really quick and simple way of setting up a date picker so that you're always getting the right day, the right date when you're making appointments. Great for uh, lunchtime appointments. I mean, I'm talking about school here, but of course I know some people who watch these videos aren't involved in schools and education, which is absolutely brilliant. Um, and you may well find other uses for this, but I hope that is useful to you. Uh, it's certainly something that I use. It just saves that little bit of time and messing around in the classroom. So if you did find this useful, please do give the video a thumbs up and consider sharing it and if you do find tips like this handy do subscribe uh, because that the way you'll be the first to know when I throw another useful tip out there into the ether. Thank you very much indeed for watching any comments please leave them below and I'll see you in the next video.